All right, Shalom. Want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wachakodash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, peace and blessings unto the elect. And uh, man, just going to go into a lesson today, dealing with the fact of uh, Esau's mind frame being that his kingdom is going to continue on forever. And one of the biggest tricks, uh, uh, impressions that he did put on uh, uh, two thirds of Israel's mind uh, is that the uh, that the fact that uh, he's gonna be our master forever, man. All right, and you have you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that have completely uh, grabbed on to the uh, the idea that we are supposed to be servants and and, and and begging for crumbs off of Esau's table until the end of time, man. All right. With the men of the Lord, we trust and have faith in the kingdom of heaven, which is soon to be established here on earth, man. So uh, with that, we're going to get straight into it, man. This uh, is Psalms. Yeah, yeah, bring that out. This is Psalms 49 and 11. It says that anyone thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Mm -hmm. And that's the uh, the mindset. You see the, uh, uh, and you see that, man. Like in uh, uh, a lot of my job history, I dealt with construction. And just in that line of business, and I did most, uh, mostly uh, 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 industrial uh, construction, man. So basically dealing with large construction sites, uh, mainly in downtown Houston. I did a lot of jobs when I was an electrician. And I was in every, uh, you got these buildings, they constantly erecting buildings up over and over, man. And then uh, constantly refurbishing and uh, doing reconstruction on buildings, showing you that in their mind frame that this place is going to continue on, man. All right, and even for the elites, they setting up the future, man. They setting up their space stations. They making everything for after the nuclear war for them to uh, uh, to still exist in power, man. They're not setting the stage up as if they feel like, oh, you know what, uh, we not gonna rule forever. No, their main objective is to go against the scriptures and try to upset prophecy, man. All right, that's why they have all these uh, cronies that they setting up to try to teach against the truth, man. Because they know that this is the only thing that damages their future. This is the only thing that threatens their kingdom of heaven, man. Which is uh, right now, man. All right? In the middle of the Lord, speaking uh, on uh, the, the true understanding of the Bible, and bring out the fact that Esau, you got hell coming to you, man. And it's going to be in the midst of our heaven right here on earth, man. All right? It says... Psalms 49 and 11. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. Mm -hmm. They call their lands after their own names. And that's what you have, man. And what proof do we have on that? You got uh, Alexander of Egypt, named after uh, uh, after uh, Alexander the Creek. You got uh, 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 shit, Africa itself, man. Named after Leo Scipius Africanus, man. Even over here in, in America, man, like we uh, live in, we, uh, in Houston, Texas, named uh, after Sam Houston, man. All right. You got this, the capital of Texas uh, is named after Stephen F. Austin. Hey, the proof is in the pudding, man. Everything in these scriptures are true, man. And, and it pinpoints who the wicked is, who the wicked is that's in rulership throughout the earth, man. But that rulership is only for a short time. All right. Good. So uh, let me get this Obadiah real, real quick. Uh, this is Obadiah chapter uh, verse three. It says, "The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks." Talking about you, Edomites, man, because you, you, your, your spirit is gravitate uh, is gravitated to gravitating back to your roots, man, which are the Caucasus Mountains, man. That's why Esau loved being in them high rise buildings, having these lofts. You have Esau have some. A uh, uh, far exotic house built in the mountains somewhere, man. All right, that's where you get your name, uh, Caucasians from, man. All right, them uh, uh, quail cave dwellers, man. It says, Whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the earth, to the ground? And they show you this talking about Esau as well, because who's ruling on that level right now, man? Who's uh, ruling uh, on a level of power? to where they can say nobody's gonna bring me down but the so-called white man All right yes sir, yes, sir. But, uh, get to Jeremiah, man because we wanted to touch on the fact that he saw creating this whole picture of his kingdom coming to uh, 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 lasting forever has got Jake in a completely submissive mind frame man 
feeling like, okay, shit, Esau's gonna rule forever, where in their mind, the white man is gonna rule, and that's just the way it is, and we just gonna have to survive and make the best out of his world, man. And the only way you can do that is uh, being wicked, man. Real quick, uh, you know, uh, uh, in, the, in the book of uh, was that, Sirach 10 and 10, man, uh, 10, and I think around verse 2, they tell you that so, uh, so, uh, uh, and it's not verbatim, but the way of the ruler is, so are the people, man. So if we got a wicked, wicked ruler, the only way you're going to make it, especially as a Jake, is you got to be fucking wicked, man. You got to sell out to this system and this beast some way, so, or form or fashion. What you got, it, brother? What you, uh, you say you want me to grab this, Jeremiah? Uh, yeah, yeah, get to him, uh, 14, and then jump over to 13. I mean, 33. Jeremiah, yeah, let me get that. This is Jeremiah 2, verse 14. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? And the answer is yes. And you see it to this day, man. No matter where you go, what level you on, you're going to see Jake in a submissive mind frame towards the so-called white man. That they, they really find joy in pleasing the white man. Like being a bunch of Uncle Ruckuses, man. They really see this man as he's the ultimate level of of, of existence, man. That's why the scri uh, scriptures tell you, if you're not uh, uh, your oppressor, and choose none of his ways, man, because his ways are nothing but wicked, man. But no matter, even if you did choose his way, the highest you're going to get is uh, uh, in this fucking place. Like, you got the guys that get into masonry and think that they're doing something big, and the highest you get is a 33-degree mason, man. And that's on a low level in that shit. You can't get to the levels with Esau at, man. If you get into this corporate world, you can't uh uh you can't get to the uh to the height of being a CEO or president, man. You're gonna work your way up and still be under the so-called white man. Even in the entertainment, no matter what you do, you always under the so-called white man. And Jake big up these celebrities and these sports entertainers when it's the Edomite that's signing the whole damn team's check. One Edomite is paying LeBron and all the Lakers. One Edomite is playing all the goddamn uh, Warriors, man. So who really at the top, man? So even when you get it, if you so-called make it in this society, you still under the so-called white, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Yep. And that's the whole uh, uh, mind frame of uh, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't have the truth, man. That this is it. There's, there's no. They not worried about uh, uh, no kingdom of heaven. If they hear about it, they don't believe in it. They believe in making it here in Babylon, man. Yolo, you live only once, man. All that bullshit, man. You got to go. Yeah, verse thirty-three, two. Come, come. Shit, any points you want to make? Jeremiah. Uh, this is Jeremiah two and thirty-three. Why tremors thou thy way to seek love? Yep, and you seeking love from a devil, man, from your oppressor. When has the so-called white man ever showed any mercy, any care for uh, uh, for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man? He hasn't, man. But what do you continue to do, man? You cut everything you uh, you do to to, uh, uh, to to please this man, man. You beg to be part to you niggas and beg for civil rights, man. You done beg for the right to be civil, man. You're begging from a man that's inferior to you, man. All right? We're the superior beings, man. Even this low state, we shine in this place, man. And then you cats that know you Israel, you constantly cutting parts of the doctrine so you don't offend the so-called white man. Like IUIC was saying at one point, you can't speak against the so-called white man. That's why a lot of you guys don't want to push the chip, man. Uh, come on, come on. This is Isaiah 51 23. It says, But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as a street to them that went over. So, yeah, all people they see Esau with all this power, you know, that was given unto him by the Most High. But they see him with this power and they, 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 they say that they try to do anything, you know, to get those crumbs from him, all right, to get those benefits. All right, and they go as far as to bending over, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the music industry, all right, to make it. Mm -hmm. All right, they basically do anything that you start telling them to do. All right, so they can, you know, be something in society. All right, so they can try to be equal unto him. Yep. All right, 
and live like Esau, the way that Esau lives, they want to live like him. But they'll never get to it. What's the proof on that? Oprah, Bill Cosby, both of them attempted to make uh, uh to make major deals and buy networks, and Esau threw that shit out the window, man. Yeah, I'll show ass out of Hollywood if you think that you're ever going to get on the level of these gutter rats, man. It's not going to happen, man. And that's why they kill themselves, man, for you to actually bend over and, and take take something up your ass, man, to so-called make it, man. You you, you really worship the, uh, the so-called shows you worship the so-called white man. That's your God, man. You feel that there's no other way. And this this man right here is my only, that's my only outlet. Which is completely bullshit, man. There's some more on that. Nah, that was it. Uh, I got a quick precept. Get them, uh, uh, this is Proverbs chapter 4 and 14. Enter not in the, into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. And that's clear, man. We're not supposed to. The so-called white man and everything about him is wicked, man. That's why he was created to be the wicked, man. Yes, there's wicked men throughout the earth. Why? Because they following after the pattern of the so-called white man. And you niggas have set up there, and, he, and it's really the most I set up that way, man. He didn't set up Esau on this level to be a stumbling block to you niggas, man. To think that to lose to lose trust and faith in, in, in Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, and believe in this place, man. And that's all. That that's just how the cookie crumble, man. That's how you niggas will set up. You will set up to fall for this to, for this big ass illusion. As, uh, uh, as Esau being uh, on top forever, man. All right. Now this is uh, Second Corinthians uh, four, and I started at three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. All right, and the, and the gospel means the good news. All right, so we telling you that we are telling our people, you know, you the children of Israel, we the princes of the power. We are above that. We are above the Edomites. All right, we are above the so-called Caucasian and all these other people around the earth. All right, that's what the most I said in Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter. All right, which says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, and whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. All right, but though, even though we're telling you this, you still looking at Esau like, like he's your God, all right, which that God is talking about, Esau, yeah. because God means power. All right, and Esau ruling the earth right now. All right, so he, since he's the one in rulership, all right, you think that he is the, the only way. All right, when Yahweh Shah said he is the way. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shah, who is the image of the Most High. Hey, so lock it real quick, man, and say it, they, he have blinded the minds of them, man. And that's why uh, it make me think of like, when we first came into the truth, a lot of people, they all, oh, you've been brainwashed, you've been brainwashed like hell i have our minds was polluted man we was trapped in in, in, in in servitude man we was trapped in a mental slavery and and the truth washed away all that bullshit man that's why it's beautiful thinking about uh, uh being washed with the word man the traps and the bonds we had on our mind have been taken away and we have been made free through yahweh shot man by uh being gifted with this truth you got it brother kind of said uh it says blinded the minds of them which believe not. And the way that they blinded our people's minds is by TV. All right, they try to program you from a child. You know, you see the superheroes, Captain America, a Caucasian, fucking Edomite. <laughs> All right, fucking Spider-Man. Everybody, everybody is a fucking Edomite. All right, so that 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 have our kids growing up thinking, like, okay, this, this is what we need to look up to. All right, and they start following after them. All right, it says... And whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious Just lock it real quick, and that's nothing but witchcraft, man. And that's how this society, this, this whole thing thrives off of left hand power, man. That's what the so called white man relies on, his witchcraft to, to keep the people completely gone, man. Like the brother brought up the example of TV, man. You get lost in that shit, man. And then that's, that's their way, because they own the film districts, man. So what you think they gonna promote uh, uh, you being an Israelite uplifting you? know they gonna whitewash everything. Use iconoclasm, man. Have you sitting down, you just seen all these TVN specials and everything is the so-called white man. Starting from the Heavenly Father on down, man. Go ahead, brother. Now, it's like we just said, they have made the Heavenly Father white, all right, and his son. 
So when I see that, I'm like, man, this these people, they, you know, they look at them on on, on a high level uh, because they think that the Messiah is it look just like them. Yeah. You know, so that you know that that, that blinds them also. All right, they fuck with their minds. You know. Right. Uh, uh, Salakia, a second ago, I said uh, bond, but the word in the scripture is blinded. The blinded uh, the minds. Uh, second Corinthians two and eleven. Let Satan should get an advantage of us. But we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, man. And that's it, man. See, the rest of these niggas is going to be destroyed, man. Uh, all, all you niggas, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here on the shores of America make up to two-thirds that's going to be destroyed here, man. Why? Because you've been, uh, uh, you've been, you didn't fail for Esau's devices or his thoughts, man. Everything that he set up, man. And the Most High is behind it all. So the Most High didn't choose you to make it, man. And then the rest of you jakes that's uh, throughout the world, if you're not part of the elect, you're going to be put to death, man. There's just wicked jakes all throughout the earth, man. But the middle of the Lord, we have not, we're not ignorant to Satan's devices, man. Every time we do a uh, uh, turn on and have breaking news, the president speaking, we read an article, uh, uh, the so-called white man projecting himself to be righteous or have a solution to a problem, First of all, we know you are the fucking problem, man. So we don't get, we don't bite into the madness that you put out, man. We know that you uh, you setting up everything and you have a wicked intent, man. And we know that the heavenly father's not gonna let this uh, place go on too much longer, man. But the rest of you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you done bit, bit into this thing, man, where it took a, a chunk out of wickedness, man. So you know what, this ain't so bad. Slavery ain't so bad, I got cable TV, internet, Porn, sports, fucking McDonald's, shit, black women with weave, all type of bullshit, nigga. You niggas accept uh, Babylon for Sports Center, man. Y'all, y'all thankful to the so called white man for Sports Center, man. Shit, you got anything else, man? No, I said, let's say, let's say, let's get a, uh, so let's say, let's get an advantage of us. And Satan's physical counterpart is, is Esau, all right, the so called mm -hmm. white man. So Satan does wickedness. Through him, that's, right, that's that left-handed side. Right, but we're not ignorant because we're dealing with the, with the right-hand side, which is Yahweh Shah and the Most High. All right, so we, we we see all these things he's doing in the earth, and we are not blind to that because we have been woken up to this truth, and we see yeah. what's going on. We know what's coming. Hey, the the weird, the, uh, the rest of Jake is caught up in all the distractions. R. Kelly, yeah, R. Kelly and all this other bullshit. That's how uh, he getting the advantage because he created this whole world. I'm doing all this dirty shit over here, but focus on this, man. Go watch, watch your, your, your fellow uh, uh, niggas uh, dribble this ball, man. Look at this BS media I'm putting in front of you, man. All these fucking distractions, man. But through the, through, through the grace and mercy of the Heavenly Father, he gave uh, uh, his men of the Lord this word, man. And this is what we focus on, and this is what we use to filter out all the bullshit, man. All right? You got so much more to on? Well, that's it, man. We're going to end it on that. Lord willing, this is edifying. want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, by Hashem, by uh, uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. Peace and blessings unto the elect. Shalom. Shalom.